help from the schedule. Uh, they had a total of 22 back-to-back -back series on the year, tied for most in the league. John Walls check in for Washington. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. I tell you what, I used to love to go up and jam like that. He dishes it to Oubre. That three off the mark. Morris passes to Caldwell Pope. And that is good. Caldwell Pope's got six points. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grinded out physical game. That's the kind. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Wizards lead by four. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. The great pair of Wall and Beal are at the guard spots. Chris Humphreys is out there with Nene. And it's Dudley in at the small forward. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And Greg, I love the fact he's always in control even though he's going at breakneck speed. He still maintains his body control. Here's Ilyasova. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Yes, Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. And stolen by Ilyasova. Jackson dishes to Drummond. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Caldwell Pope kicks to Ilyasova. To the middle. Shot clock at five. That puts them in the lead. Ilyasova's got the lead up to two now for the Pistons. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive mate in the past. And Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Washington calls timeout. The last season, the Wizards fell off just a bit in the second half of the year. Still, Greg, very competitive at home. Yeah, and their strong play at home helped them weather that storm, Kevin. I mean, they ended up going 29 and 12 here at the Verizon Center. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Thank you, guys. I got a chance to hear what Randy Whitman was saying to the team. He was not at all satisfied with their effort level, saying, we're losing the hustle plays and all the 50-50 balls. We simply can't win that way. We've got to get after it. Let's see how they respond, Kevin. And you know, that 29 wins mark at home for the Wizards, third best in the East. That team really likes shooting the ball here as they were a top five three-point percentage team in this building. Here's Baines. Baseline jumper. Good. And the assist goes to Blake. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Beal from long range. That is good. Beal's got 10 points here in the second half. And, and really the driving factor for why Washington was so good at home was their defense. I mean, they would finish with the best field goal percentage against in the entire league in their home building. You don't think of the Wizards as a lockdown team, but in the Verizon Center, that's exactly what they were. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Pistons. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And how about the work they're doing also on the offensive class? Creating those extra opportunities has been critical. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And a different look here for the Pistons. Andre Drummond's checked in for Aaron Baines. Ilyasova comes in for Anthony Tolliver. Morris is checked in for Johnson. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Steve Blake. There's Beal with the three. 
The rebound by Caldwell Polk. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Stolen by Jackson. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Clutch free throws there, fellas. This one's a barn burner. Tight as me in an airport laboratory. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Nice, nice way there, guys, to finish up that possession. Good on the triple. Morris has got five points now this quarter. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still too close to call. I mean, this one is tight. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. He's been wayward and just off of about everything he's put up in this period. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Jackson. Caldwell Pope kicks to Ilias Over. Morris passes to Ilias Over. The drive by Jackson. Off the left rim and out. That's one he knows he should have drank. And the slam dunk by Wall. Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this, though. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. Well, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself, and he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. And here's Dudley for three. Cannot hit. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Clark, they'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. As clutch a shot as I have ever seen. In a word, gutsy. Wall attacking. A 15-footer. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on fire. The pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Jackson. Pistons passing it around. Shot clock at five. Yes! And really, I like the fact that even with the big lead, they never coasted. To me, that's a sign of a really good team, Greg, because you should always be playing against the game and yourself. I know there's an opponent out there, but when you have a lead, it's all about continuing to execute. Do what you do and stay true to that. And I like that aggressiveness and full speed ahead uh, kind of attack that they have. There's Beal with the three. And again, Washington, no good. Humphreys with the steal. It's good! And, and when it comes to size, it's not a one-on-one -on -one matchup that favors him. Well, you wouldn't know it with that finish, I tell you. I mean, that took a little bit of creativity right there. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throw. Foul right away. And a chance here to send it to overtime. Got to see the three and be the three if that's going to happen. Washington calls timeout. They're losing by three. One second left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? They need a three here, so they need to make sure they sub in all of their best shooters because with under two seconds remaining, you have to catch and shoot it quickly. to force OT. Oh, he had a chance there to send it to overtime, but they come up empty-handed. And so it's the Pistons who come out on top here.